Yeah, in this video I built a tungsten grinder. It's for grinding TIG welder uh, tungsten electrodes. Yes, yeah, so there's a few different ways you can make these tungsten grinders. Some people are taking a, a four and a half inch angle grinder and putting a diamond wheel on it. Amazon even sells a kit for those where you can uh, put, it comes with the diamond wheel, comes with a guide, and then you weld a bolt to the guard and the guide attaches to it. But how I'm going to do it is with a six inch bench grinder. This is just a cheap six inch bench grinder from Lowe's. And this is a diamond wheel that I got from my McMaster car. And apparently this is how Lincoln Electric actually does this. And you can sharpen thousands of tungstens on one of these wheels. If you use a regular grinding wheel, you do it just a couple times, it leaves a great big groove in the grinding wheel. And this grinder, I'm only going to use it as a tungsten grinder and that's it. And what I want to do is put this wheel on it and make some kind of guide. Which should be pretty simple. And this is the actual uh, part number if you want to get one. One of these wheels. They make three different grits. This is the medium uh, grit. I think it was 180 uh, grit or something like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the grinding wheel on the grinder. And on this side of the grinder, it does have left hand threads to take this nut off. And on this grinder, I'm going to have to make a spacer that goes from half inch to inch and a quarter. Some of these grinding wheels actually have a plastic spacer already inside of them, but this one doesn't. Yeah, so now I'm making a spacer or adapter and all you'd need is a piece of aluminum to do that, but all I have is steel, so I'm going to make it out of that. Yeah, and I took and drilled this a little bit smaller than half inch and I'll, I'll take a reamer and go through there and then the hole's more precise. Yeah, and I had these reamers and it did a real nice job. Yeah, so now I just got to cut it off and then machine the other end so it's exactly three quarters of an inch long. Yeah, and here's that spacer. It turned out perfect. And I made it a few thousands bigger than the hole so it fits in there tight. Yeah, that's a lot better than that cheap little plastic one that a lot of uh, grinding wheels come with. Yeah, and here's what it looks like with that grinding wheel on there. It fits on there perfect. And everyone I've seen doing this was just freehanding it, but I think it'd be so much better to have a guide on there. Yeah, and this other side of the grinder has a guide for sharpening drill beds. So maybe I'll use this just for doing tungstens on one side and drill bits on the other. Yeah, and this grinder is also, it's, it's only 2.1 amps, so it's not very uh, powerful. So you can turn it on and it won't it sits on the bench without mounting it down it without moving and here's some that i just sharpened freehand and they, they all turned out real good i don't know if you can see that or not yeah i have an eight inch bench grinder that i use for everything else that i have mounted to an actual stand yeah and this was the actual information on mcmaster cars website for this uh, grinding wheel i printed it a while back so I'd be able to find it again when I was ready to do this and they make this grinding wheel in 100 180 and 320 grit I went with the 180 grit they also make it one inch one inch thick the one I went with is three quarter inch thick and it's actually for grinding ceramic or glass but it works perfect for this I know everybody else who made these videos on this didn't actually show the information, the part number. Yeah, and this is a small piece of 5 8 inch plate that I'm going to make the guide out of. That way I can drill through it in an angle. And I got enough, to, so it's thick enough to drill through that like that. Yeah, this wasn't real easy to drill this. The smallest hole, I broke a drill bit, bit off in it. But I was planning on cutting a little bit off of it anyway, so I cut that piece off and I 
stuck the snow of ice, heated it up red hot, stuck something in from the other side and, and was able to knock that pe broken drill bit out of there. Yeah, it's very hard to drill that small of saw because it's real tiny. Yeah, I also have one of these small handheld uh, tungsten grinders, but I don't really like it. It'll work so much better on a regular uh, grinder. Yeah, so what I have to do now is grind a bunch off of here at an angle. So I can get this at the right angle here. And then I just make a little uh, bracket on top to hold that to where the guard normally went. And, and by putting this guide way up here, I can still freehand uh, tungstens if I want to and grind the point. It's out of the way. Yeah, so what you want to do is grind this to where you can get it real close to the grinding wheel where it doesn't stick out way past the guide to where it hits the grinding wheel. Yeah, so now I'm going to make a little uh, almost 90 degree bracket that's going to be welded to the top of this and it's going to attach to those two screws where the guard normally went. So what you want to do is just clamp this together, then tack weld it and look and make sure everything's right before you finish welding this. And before you weld this, you want to clamp this together, put the three tungstens in there, then look at the inside and make sure you're on the grinding wheel. Yeah, the way I have it, there's about an eighth of an inch on each side of the wheel. So they're all in the right spot. Yeah, I had to play around with it a little bit to get the angle right. I bent this bracket a little bit more to get it at more of an angle. And by taking this grinding wheel on and off, it caused the grinding wheel on the other side to come loose. So make sure you make that's tight. Yeah, it turned out good. 